Say yeah. hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Say I'm potty training. Don't have any clothes on down below. <laughs> Julian, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Can you say potty? Potty? <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Okay, you can go now, because this will be boring. Hey everybody. Hi. So. <laughs> so, we just want to catch you up on what we're doing. We know it's hard to keep people updated. It's a busy time in our life. But we are more than excited to fill you in and let you know. And tell you about some new, exciting, upcoming things. So, so. you start with what you're doing, where, where well, we're at. Right now, I we just moved down to Buckeye to my mom's house, and we're um, we're staying there, staying here for the time being until we're ready to get to Cambodia. Um, I am babysitting right now. Um, it's such a blessing to be able to be at home with uh, Julian, and then I also get to babysit my cute little nephew um, Jeremiah. And um, and on top of that, I'm getting into private lessons and teaching people how to play. I already have one student. Yay! Yay! We're going over um, guitar and um, how to play all the different chords. So um, it's very, very exciting and um, very cool. And on top of that, we're trying to get stuff ready, all the nitpicky things for Cambodia. David here, he is student teaching now. Yes, so I am last semester of <laughs> he's in his last stretch of school and it, it's so so exciting and so stressful right now but um he is doing a lot he's basically has all classes he's as if he's a teacher yeah. in, at the high school teaching world history so he's been very busy yes. and it's been yeah. wonderful. I'm almost halfway through with the eighth week. I have to do 16 weeks. I'm paired with the teacher, but he's like, you just pretend this is your class. I'll sit in the back mm -hmm. and secretly judge you. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. But it's going really well. He's awesome. He's a very laid back guy. He kind of balances my hyper, high anxiety, kind of crazy <laughs> life. So it's going really well, but like I said, it's been busy. I'm at school all day, and then when I come home, I'm prepping. So I'm really getting the full <coughs> teacher Mama. experience. Mama. Is there anything else you want to say? I would. Yeah? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, so, so that's well, good and great, well, but um, I hope to graduate as long as I pass. It's a pass or fail course, the last part, my last four credits. If I graduate, I'll do that in December, and we will both be college graduates. Yay! Yay. Yay. Aren't you proud of us? Yay! Say yay. I really didn't think he'd want to be up here at all, but he sees that we're having fun. Yeah. So, other than that, um, David graduates in December. So, David graduates in December, and after that, we are going to be gung ho in raising support and trying to. It's not like we're not trying to do that right now, we right. are. Um, but it's hard with um, me trying to bring in an income and David trying to finish school. But yes. once we get all that done, his, he's graduated, we can go full throttle in uh, raising support for Cambodia. Right. And hopefully by next year, um, we're going to get there. <laughs> yes. And... Um, yeah, so we're excited to, Blinka's mom is who we're staying with right now, staying with her family. We moved out of Flagstaff, sad, tear, we miss you Flagstaff, but yes. this has been such a blessing to us to be able to stay with family while I basically had to quit my job to work, and Blinka's being the main income maker, so thank you. She's doing an awesome job too at teaching guitar and raising the kids and helping them. So um, what we're going to talk about real quick is Cambodia, right? Mm -hmm. So Cambodia is a country that I had the honor to serve in for three years um, and I always felt like coming back to school was part of my goal and getting an education degree. I never finished college and I felt like that was something the Lord was saying to do 
and I've been so blessed to do that. I've learned so much and grown so much. But the cool thing is, is like before my even first semester coming back to school, as I meet Belinka right away in Flagstaff, who's also going to NAU. So it's just cool to see how God had all worked out, and um, both of us have had a heart to work overseas, to travel, and to do missions-based work. And uh, we're so excited that we can do it in the field of education because we both love young people and working with young people, see them champion themselves. So. It's really cool that we're going to get to go to Cambodia and work in this program. So if you don't know where Cambodia is, I'll have some overlaying stuff here. Um, it's specifically where we're going is in Battambang, Cambodia, the second largest city. It's more of a kind of rural town feel. It's really cool. Um, it's one of the education hubs of Cambodia. There's a lot of universities and colleges being built and a lot of just young people coming there, even like young youth, teenagers going there to get a better education because that's really important to them right now. Uh, Cambodia is in Southeast Asia. It's um, kind of sandwiched between Vietnam and Thailand, um, down below um, China and Laos. Um, it's a very subtropical kind of climate. It's always warm. There's basically two seasons, a dry season and a wet season. So it has lots of monsoons and rainy times and there's palm trees and coconut trees and it's a fun place to be. The best tropical fruit. Julian, don't touch that. Be careful. So, um, that's where we're going. A little bit about Cambodia. No! I know, this is the sad part. Yeah, Cambodia came out of a war-torn state around the 70s, 80s, and even up to the 90s. Um, so, with that, uh, the war-torn history, it's very recent to them still. If you've heard of Khmer Rouge or Pol Pot, that was all going on, the killing fields. Um, it was basically civil war and this kind of um, dictatorship that took over and canceled and killed any kind of teachers, school teachers, artists, doctors, lawyers, anybody that could really have free thinking and um, they just wanted it very all across the board, the same kind of these farmer people. So Cambodia's still trying to rise up from those, um, that recent kind of bad past and um, that's kind of where we feel like we can go in and help, or try to help, because every time I go there, it's, um, it's more me getting an education, because I learn so much from these people. They're just the most hospitable, most friendliest, loving people that will just gladly take you in, but there's still a lot of healing that's going on in their hearts and their family lives from just what their parents have seen, people um, not that much older, the next generation, and um, there's just a lot still to to be done there. So we're really going there to help and see what we can do, especially in education as Bad and Bong is this hub of education. We really want to be just a blessing to those people and help and um, have the experience of raising our son and maybe future children there and yeah. just do this now while we're young, while our kids are young and um, just have, take this opportunity because we know we both love traveling. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're excited to get into their um, the youth center that YWAM has put there right now um, right. and that's where, where we're going to where we're going to go for off the bat um, we'll put a website down on what YWAM is if you haven't heard of it it's youth yes. with a mission and it's the organization it's a non-denominational organization we're going to work with so. yeah so they have a DTS class that we're going to be taking when we first get there and that's just to go over you know the heart of a missionary the heart of being a Christian and um, what we're going to be just being, looking forward people. to, yeah, um, as missionaries. And then we're going to get into uh, the youth center, like I said. And David hopefully will be teaching English. And I will be doing, I want to get into doing music and teaching kids music um, while we're there. Because uh, they do have a really big need for teachers right now. Um, and also, hopefully in the future, David will uh, be able to develop his dream more with with them and um, building curriculum and, and just reaching every possible child that is there um, from every kind of background. Right. Right now yeah. it's kind of, um, I mean, it's still, it's a third world country, Cambodia, but right now the kids that... I was working with the students they were working with, they were kind of, not kind of, they were still poor, but they're still like slums just around the corner, really poor areas that 
um, they just are trying to struggle to survive. So I think my heart's developing more. God's speaking to me about going to those areas that are even the poorest of the poor and see if I can start like a small group or some kind of a program to help them better themselves, maybe bring in education. I'm a history education background, but I want to use that through teaching English. And who knows what we'll develop. We're just open. That's the big thing. Yeah, so. yeah we're very open to um, what God is what God is pushing us towards and um, we're very excited also um, just to get our, our hands and our feet in and working um, so what we're asking for is prayer first and foremost um, if you guys can pray with us in trying to um, get our hearts ready, get our minds ready, especially for me, it's my very first time going out of the country for a long period of time. Because um, right, you've traveled to Haiti. And I've, I've traveled before, but not as vacation. a missionary yeah. <laughs> for the rest of my life. Um, so just prayer for preparation, my heart and my mind um, going there, and also prayer for supporters, because we really, need support yes. um, support in prayer and support financially right. um, to get there and to be able to stay there and to live um, and then also support a prayer on um, on the hearts of the people the supporters that are going to um, that we're going to be asking to support us <laughs> so um yeah, part of the reason we want to make this video is update everyone, and this is um, a great way to do that, but also to really um, let you know that we are doing this as volunteers. That's part of kind of the missionary life. Um, we go, and it's kind of against our culture to do this, but we're going without receiving a monetary form of payment. The payments we receive is way more of a blessing, we believe, in our hearts and through the rest of our lives, but this is what we feel that God is calling us to do. So we ask that you would more than anything pray for us and our family, pray for this transition, but also support us financially um, if that's something you feel like you're called to do. Uh, we also have a website. If you can go, it'll be in the link down there or on, on the video or however we do it. But um, it's just to our website. You can find all the same information that we're telling you right now um, about us to get to know us a bit and also to get to know YWAM. We'll have links to the YWAM page at Baden Bong. You'll get to see the people there, the people we're going to be working with, um, and the wonderful staff. Um, and then also we have a Facebook page called Ferguson Family. And um, like on, it. Yes, well, please like the page if you haven't already. And um, just keep tabs on, you'll be able to keep tabs on, you know, what we're doing to, to raise funds and, and also more information on what the UN of Bad and Bong is doing and also what the Bad and Bong is doing. So um, thank you so much for taking the time yeah. to watch this video. Say um, thank you, Julian. Say thank say you. Merci. Say merci. Say merci. Merci. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. We love you guys. Thanks for Thanks. watching. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. We'll keep you updated. Yes. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Say bye-bye.